Hello! Welcome to part two of my Pinnacle Rearrangement Made Easy video series. Uh, if you are coming here and you haven't watched part one yet, make sure you guys watch that. Otherwise, this one won't make as much sense. I'll be making some references to that video. And the link is right here. You can just click. Or if you're on a mobile device, feel free to just um, click on the link down below in the description. All right. So for those of you who have watched part one, welcome to part two. Um, that looks the same thing as before. That looks like the same molecules before, right? Well, um, I think we all kind of had this moment when you study like crazy and then you go to your exam, you feel like you're really confident about the topic, concept, reaction, but then your professor puts a question on the test where he changes one little, little thing. Like he has a double bond or something, but then you're like, how does that really affect it? Well, I'm about to do that to you guys. Sorry. I am going to put just a hydrogen over here to the previous molecule that we were working with. And, oh, that's ugly hydrogen. Eh, whatever. Um, yeah, I'm going to add a hydrogen to this guy, and we're going to see how that changes the reaction. All right, so once again, I want you guys to do the product prediction and tell me what the product's going to be. Is it going to be the same thing as before or something a little different? Mm. Okay, so hit pause, take a couple seconds. Um, just like before, pretend like it's an exam. You, you just have to take a yes. You know, doesn't hurt. We're just practicing. All right, see you in a couple seconds. Good luck. Okay, welcome back. So, believe it or not, this is your product. And only this is your product this time. Okay? So, things are a little bit different from before. Did you guys get it? If you did, good job. If you didn't, then you were wrong again. But it's okay, because who cares? I, I do things wrong all the time. It's fine. It, we are all humans. But anyways, so why do we get this product, right? It looks like this time only the side that's less stable or less substituted, meaning that it's the carbon is bound to less carbons. So this one is only bound to two carbons versus this one. It's a carbon that's bound to one, two, three carbons. Only the less stable carbon turns into a C double bond O or a carbonyl. Not this one, but why? Right? Well, in order to figure out why, we need to do the mechanism. And once we do it, you'll see. It'll be awesome. Okay, so what's going to be the first step? Well, just like before, let's draw our acid again, H3O+, plus, because he's our awesome acid catalyst. He's going to help us along. So just like before, uh, it's acid, so it's going to throw away its hydrogen. But something is going to need to pick up the hydrogen, and that's going to be the most basic atom. But you have two OHs now. So let's consider both possibilities, okay? Let's say this OH grabs the hydrogen. Hold on, yeah, this OH grabs the hydrogen. And then, you know, the bond breaks because hydrogen can only sustain one bond. He's getting two now. So he gives this one up, goes to the O. Or, you know, let's consider this, uh, this uh, situation as well. And we'll branch it out and we'll see what happens. So, okay, go ahead and do it as well. I want you guys to be one step ahead of me just like you were supposed to be for that first video, okay? All right. Alrighty, so the two possibilities are right here. You can have the H on this OH, or you can have the H on that OH, like that. And then, am I missing anything? Check, I'm missing a charge, a positive charge. On who? Whoever lost electrons. Well, O lost electrons when he attacked. So, positive charge, and positive charge here. Boom, okay, here we go. Here, these are our two possible scenarios. Now, uh, what's the next step in the, in the uh, mechanism? If you said that now the O needs electrons because it's unstable, then you're on the right track. And what do you do? You break this bond. All right, or this bond over here, like that. All right, and then I'll go down. So we still have this. This hydrogen is still there. The carbons are still there. And then I'll draw the backbone for this one. Everything is still here. Whatever you didn't touch, you just redraw it. Okay, bingo, we're at the critical step. Here's the step where the water OH2 has left, 
And what does it leave behind? Think back to the mechanism from the first video, okay? Try really hard to remember it without looking at it. But if you have to, look back. Okay, so this step, a carbocation forms. Carbon with a positive charge. It's, it's formed here in this left scenario because this carbon lost electrons. The two electrons in that bond went to the O. Okay, in this scenario, the positive charge forms over here. Same exact reasoning. But critical step. Here, we have a prime, uh, no, not primary. Here, we have a secondary carbocation. So, secondary here, what kind of a carbocation do we have? It's a tertiary. Okay, tertiary carbocation, secondary carbocation. This is the key difference here. You only choose the OH, you choose the OH to get pronated so that when it leaves, you create the more stable carbocation. Why? Well, uh, it's more stable. So why would your molecule go with the less stable route if it didn't have to? And hypothetically, if it did, if this OH did get pronated, um, it wouldn't really leave because it knows that it's gonna generate a secondary carbocation, so instead, uh, the water molecule that's formed after this H3O loses the H will probably come back and grab the H and will go back to the starting material. And then it's going to go down this pathway, hopefully, through like through chance, probability. And when it goes through this way, only in this pathway or scenario, the water will leave and generate a tertiary carbocation. It's not going to go with the other scenario. Okay? So if you imagine if you didn't have this, just remember, pick the, pick the side that has the more stable carbon. The side with the more stable carbon is going to be the one that loses the OH. So then this one's going to turn into the ketone or carbonyl. Okay? All right. Let me know if that doesn't make sense. Ask, ask questions down below. Don't worry. Uh, let's, keep, let's keep going with the mechanism then. All right? So what happens now? What do you remember from the first video? Okay. So... Remember, the goal is to get the positive charge or carbocation next to the O, because the O is awesome, because it could protect it. So let's do that. So this time it's a little different because we have a hydrogen here and we have a methyl group here. So which one do we move? We would go with the hydrogen. And I'll show you why, actually. So we'll move the hydrogen just like before. The bond to the positive charge, not the hydrogen. The hydrogen itself has no electrons. All the electrons are in the bond. Okay, so we'll do that, and then, you know what, we'll do this scenario as well. Might as well show you guys. Let's say we move the methyl as well. Scenario one, scenario two, this is going to be the result of the methyl shift. Okay, methyl shift, and then this is going to be the scenario of the hydride shift. Okay, redraw your backbones, nothing changes there. Now, oh wait, something does change. My bad. Okay, so for the methyl, oops, the methyl shift, um, if the methyl shifted over, then it's over here now. Then we have a hydrogen here. Okay, and then if the hydrogen shifted, then we'll move it up here. And where's the carbocation? It is going to be here. Because no matter what, these two electrons will go over here, or these two electrons will go over here. This carbon is the one losing electrons at all times. So, carbocation, here, here. Let's draw our OH again. All right, there we go. So, what's bad about moving the methyl is that, what kind of a carbocation is this? It's a, it's a primary carbocation now. This is a secondary carbocation, okay? Because it's attached to one carbon and two carbons. This is a primary carbocation because it's attached to one carbon. Why would you create a primary carbocation if you could create a secondary carbocation? It doesn't make any sense. So the methyl shift would not happen. Just like how this pathway is not very reasonable or logical. Your molecules are actually pretty darn smart. Yeah, okay. So you formed your secondary carbocation, and then what happens now? All right, so just like before, the O is awesome, it's gonna protect the positive charge in a sense, or help fix it by resonating down. So remember, just like before, since we're resonating, you want to use resonance arrows, not like just forward mechanistic arrows. All right, so yeah, O has lone pairs. I just didn't draw them just to save room and time. All right, what do we get from here? Redraw your backbone. 
draw your new bond. O. And then you have a H still here. And then carbocation's gone, but it's now on the O, because O lost electrons in order to resonate. And now this is not so great, but you have your awesome buddy, the H3O plus, turned into water. So it's going to fly back. It's going to act as a catalyst and help us out by grabbing the H, which frees up the electrons in this OH bond to go to the O. And then, bingo, we are at our product. That's it. Yeah, not too bad, right? Yeah. I don't know, I find it kind of cool. And, uh, oh, in this step here, you, you released your water. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, the H from the water is, one of the H's is always going to be from your acid catalyst. Yeah. And, yeah, so, uh, just like before, try to remember, the whole point of the pinnacle rearrangement is just to, step one, destabilize the vicinal dial. Step two, force it to rearrange into a more stable form. Okay? All right. Hope you guys like this example. I have the extra hard version coming up in the next video, part three. Uh, and uh, if you like this video, as always, make sure you like it down there uh, and tell your friends about it. Make sure you're subscribed. And uh, let's see. Oh yeah, and if you guys would like to help support my channel, you can do so at patreon.com slash orgo made easy. Okay, so part two, part three's link is gonna be right over here. Just click. And once again, mobile devices, the link is down below. See you in part three. Bye.